old fucking uh, radio guy saying some dirty words or, or I, naughty yeah. words. And, right. I, and I, got, I love Imus. I, got, I didn't mean to say that. I got that open, but um, that, uh, Anthony, Anthony's saying that um, he can profile all black guys like that, but you can't profile anybody because if we were profiling anybody, we'll be profiling Anna as a dog on pedophile because he fit the description to the teeth. Who does? Ant. He's uh, he's a single white guy, an older white guy, and, and I mean those are the type of guys that would run around and killing young. Folks Let me tell you, here's here's the difference. Here's the difference. Here's the difference, my friend. Pedophiles don't run around in gangs of a thousand terrorizing children. Absolutely, they run around in gangs of one in mansions in Long Island. <laughs> Every day on the news, you hear about another girl going missing, a blonde yeah. eye. The only people you hear about are the blonde eye, blue eye girl. I mean, you know, blonde hair, blue eye girl. Exactly. Girl. You don't never, because the only You're thing right. you want to do is. I mean, that's the, that's how you profile. Every time I see a white yeah, exactly, guy, go, and and I'm it is profiled. Kids, they, they are profiled, and it's an accurate profile. So why can't uh, we profile people that just decide to bust into fucking uh, uh, liquor stores or bodegas with a fucking gun and rob people or or uh, wild in Times Square on Easter? Well, I mean, you can profiles, I guess, like that. But the same way, if I see a white guy not holding a woman hand going down the road, I'm gonna snatch my kids back. All right, how about that? How about this? You you certainly wouldn't be able to take a trench coat as a white guy in his 40s uh, fits the profile of a pedo. But let's say he's not, and let's say he's just walking around an elementary school. He is going <laughs> to get rousted. He is absolutely okay. going to get rousted. How about on Easter Sunday, we make it so no black people under the age of 40, can enter Times Square. How about that? They pretty much do that already. Do they? they do they? Do they, do they no, they, they don't. Day. They do I not. Fucking, How come a thousand of them were oh in fucking God. Times Square? They do not do that. Stop it. Uh, I, uh, one day you need to do like one of these movies doing, get in our shoes and get pulled over every fucking time. You I'll pull over. I get pulled over more time. times than than black people do. I get pulled oh. over more times than black people. It's because you're speeding. <laughs> because I'm fucking speeding like a motherfucker. And you know what I do? I'm a courteous son of a bitch. I don't give fucking lip. I don't talk back. And I let the officer fucking look in my car. He can do whatever he wants. My guns that I own are um, legal and legi uh, legit, and they're in my name, and they're inside my car legally. And every time I get pulled over with a fucking gun, like if you get pulled over with your registration and everything, they'll probably talk to you five or ten, fifteen minutes, call your Reggie, and that's it. Me, shit, I'm going to have to sit there, get out of the car, open my trunk, tear out my seats, take my speakers out every fucking time, and tell me that that happened to you. You know, you know why? You know why? That That is a bitch for you, my friend, because ten guys before you were pulling guns or fucking had weed uh, in their car or whatever. Whatever the fuck little or great crime was being committed, it was being done by people that might have fit your profile. And uh, sorry to say... Uh, it's not the cops' fault. It's it's other young black men that are ruining it for you. Uh, it's just it's just not right. Yeah. All right then, guys, punching out. All, All right, right, man. Thank you, Sean. It isn't right, but you know something? He's right. It's not right, but it's not right. But but you know, pr profiling and just basic human nature and fear and apprehension comes about when uh, something happens a lot. If 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 a certain group or a certain thing, or a certain anything is frightening you time and time again, or threatening you, or d does a certain thing that um, you find appalling, y you're going to notice that. You're going to notice a pattern, and you're going to react to it. That's what's been happening. What do, you th what do you think? It's just for the fuck of it? Just, ah, oh, look at this guy. Ah, fuck him. Mm. Let, me, let me give him a hard time. It's got to be based on something you're saying. Of course. Yeah. All right, why don't we take a break? We can continue with this, but, um, yeah, it's a big story. certainly is a big story, this, yeah, e but this, you, you, this you, Easter Sunday wilding incident in Times Square. <laughs> they won't God. dig uh, deep enough into it. And you won't see Reverend Al talking about this nope. at all today. No Reverend Al. Can't no wait for the next nonsense thing he, uh, he comes out for. Address this. It's important to the black community to address this and find out why this is going on. Uh, forget about Whitey for a while. And just dive into this head first there, Al, and find out why this is happening. Why young black men are compelled to go into uh, an area like Times Square and just fuck it up 
and shoot each other and do whatever the fuck uh, uh, they want. Because Wilding. they're not presented with the same opportunities. Man, go blow me. There's a fucking black guy in the White House. <laughs> Stop it already. Who comes running when the cops get out of hand? Who thinks the mayor's in the Ku Klux Klan? Yelling and screaming as he's speaking to a mob. He wears expensive suits, but he doesn't have a job. Reverend Al, Reverend Al, he's your pal. Reverend Al, well, he's sapping off the people in his own community. Why is the white man always picking on me? He's got a fat belly and his hair's full of grease. We hear his battle cry. No justice, no peace. The man with a plan who you know you can trust. The party little reverend with an ass just like a bus. He's Reverend Al. Reverend Al. He's your pal. Reverend Al. He looks like James Brown with too many calories. Now why is the white man always picking on me? Remember Bernie gets in the Brawley case. Turn on the TV, you would always see his face. He's speeding in his limo to another homicide. To make the network news with the family by his side. Reverend Al, Reverend Al, he's your pal. Reverend Al, on the never-ending search for some good publicity. Why is the white man always picking on me? Reverend Al. The footage makes it on the TV. Reverend Al. I'm Reverend Al. He's Reverend Al. I'm your pal. Well, he's your pal. That's right, Reverend he's Al. Reverend Al. I'm Reverend Al. He's a race bait, white hate, bag of baloney. Now, why is the white man always picking on me? Reverend Al. I, yeah, I'm he's Al. He's Reverend Al. I'm Reverend Al. Well, he's your pal. 